Hello and welcome to the first episode of Pro Tools Witchcraft. In this series I want to show you some quick tips and tricks on how to maximize your workflow in Pro Tools using some quick tips and custom hotkeys and stuff like that. So without further ado I have this mix over here. As you can see I have a lot of tracks that I have color coded and all my drums are up here in purple and all my drums have a pre-fader send that's going to my drum bus and on my drum bus I have the CLA-3A compressor from waves and quite an extreme setting and I have an EQ like this so one thing that you may not know is that you can right click on your drum bus and go to show only assignments in drum bus and when you hit that you will only see these tracks so if you have a quite a big session that can be quite useful and then you can adjust your volume and pan and things like that all from here the problem is if I want to adjust my sense here I have to just kind of click on them one by one and adjust it and then click on the next one and every time I click on a new one you can see that the old ones disappear and that's because this button is engaged I call it the target button so if I disengage this button and I open another one as you can see it will show up right next to it and I can adjust both and I can kind of look at both waveforms if I play here I, I can look at them next to each other and kind of know more or less what's going on in my mix. So wouldn't it be nice if I could have all my scents here just show up at once really quick, like, I don't know, like this. Whoa, that would be really cool, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So first thing you should know is that if you hold Alt and Shift when you click on plugins or sends, it will open them already with this thing disengaged. And if you click on multiple ones, they will just cascade in this fashion which is very useful. So then I can just kind of neatly put these next to each other as I'm creating a mini mixer for my sense. And then maybe once I'm done doing that, I can also bring in my compressor and disengage that there. And obviously I want to see my bus fader as well so I can then blend that in. So I have all this stuff neatly laid out here. I may want to quickly navigate between this view and just my normal view. So the way to do this is to save this layout as a window configuration. And window configurations are super cool so if you go to window and then configuration, um, you can create your own configurations and configurations save all floating windows in the way that they are laid out, which is really useful. As you can see, I have a custom hotkey for that, which is all three modifiers, alt, command, control, and J. If you guys want to know how to make your own custom shortcuts, um, I can make a video about that if you leave a comment. But again, you can find that quite easily in YouTube. So as you can see, if I play my song, I can adjust all of these on the fly and I can monitor what's happening as well. And then I can see my settings over here. I can, I can play with those and then I can just use this to blend it in all really quickly. But what we want to do is if you want to go back to this, we don't want to do all the stuff that we just did, you know, cascading them and then laying them out and opening all these windows. That takes quite a lot of time, but we can save this as a window configuration. So the way to do that, you go to windows, you go to new configuration and you'll see this window. So in this window, you should name your configuration. I like to call it drum bus mini mixer, just so I know what's going on and pay attention to this number because this number is quite important. The number dictates what our hotkey will be to pull this up and make sure you have the window layout selected so everything looks good here. So I'm going to press OK. So the way to pull up the window configuration that we just created is to go on the numpad and press period followed by the number of your configuration followed by asterisk. So in our case, I want to go period seven asterisk. And once I hit that, you can see that my window is back and I can do my adjustments. And then once I'm done with it, um, I like to have just the bare bones edit window as my first configuration. So when I want to close all configurations, I'll just go to that. Another way to use the same thing is, for example, here I have a bunch of synths that are kind of clashing with each other. So I have to mix them kind of together. These two especially kind of clash a lot. So I went ahead and created a configuration for that synth plugins, which is number four. So in this case, I go period four asterisk and all their plugins show up here. So I can kind of really quickly like adjust those and do whatever I want to do. 
Another way you can use this is I have my audio suite for my percussion effects and things like that. Maybe sometimes I want to quickly reverse something or I want to quickly change the pitch of that. So I can save that kind of stuff as a configuration and that's my basic DSP. So if I take a file here, say I want to edit this file so I can just click on it and quickly go period five asterisk and then I have this stuff and I can do my work and then really quickly close it as well. So you can see that there's endless possibilities with configurations. You know, maybe you have some headphone mixes that you're sending all your tracks to a bunch of musicians in a live situation. So obviously you'll have, you know, a send for that and you can do the same thing, create like a mini send mixer. And it doesn't have to be only send. Maybe you really want to quickly have your hi-hat and real snare without navigating to the mix window right so the possibilities are really endless it was more the tip that i wanted to show you about using configurations because i know a lot of people don't use it and a lot of people actually do kind of click individually on these things and that just takes too long whereas beep bop boop it's here doop, 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 it's gone it's beautiful and this will really increase your workflow and what I found out is that I use things more when I have kind of a quick way to access them whereas if I have to do this every time I kind of set it and forget it and convince myself that it's good enough because we are all quite lazy people by nature. All right, so I hope you learned something from this. Um, let me know if there are questions, then I can do quick tips on those. Otherwise, I will just do these as I have free time. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. See you guys next time.